Hello guys and girls, how are you? Today I bring you a very special video, in which I will tell you the story of Worldbox creator Maxim Karpenko and how he got the idea to create Worldbox, let's start. Warning, the story and facts related below may not always be true, because Maxim Karpenko is very, very private with his personal life. The information reported here is based on clues and information obtained from people close to him or things that he has said and it is not known if they are completely true. Let us begin. Maxim Karpenko was born in the city of Tumen, located in western Siberia, sometime between 1975 and 1985, which would put him in the age range of approximately 38 to 48 years, depending on his exact date of birth. During his childhood in the 1980s and 1990s, Maxim experienced a difficult time in Russia. This was a time of great changes and transformations in the country, since it was marked by the dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. The fall of the communist system led Russia to a deep political, economic and social transition, which resulted in a series of challenges and difficulties for the Russian people. Like any Russian child of that time, Maxim may have faced challenges related to scarce resources, economic uncertainty, and adjusting to a new political and social system. It is likely that he lived a typical life for a Russian child of that generation, with his upbringing, friends, daily activities, and the historical events that shaped the country at the time. While the situation in Russia was difficult in those years, many people like Maxim Karpenko also experienced moments of resilience, hope, and community unity, which helped shape their identity and personality as they grew up amid these significant changes. But beyond that, it is believed that his life was not very bad, it is known that he has a younger brother who is known as Artem Karpenko, the creator of Moonbox. In his hometown, Maxim was educated, it is believed that he attended primary school and high school there, later he would surely go to another city to pursue his university studies, it is known that Maxim originally began studying petroleum engineering, something common in Russia, it is not for anyone a secret that this country and its large reserves of raw materials, including oil, makes these professions very common. Maxim would study petroleum engineering for around one to two years, however. Later on, he would feel that this is not what that he really wanted to dedicate himself. And it is not known for sure how Maxim gave up that profession to study something totally different, software engineering or computer science, whatever you want to call it. Studying this apparently amazed Maxim Karpenko, who with a lot of emotion and I imagine also quite a few difficulties with his family and new challenges, studied for five years, until graduating, it is estimated around 2000, after this, he surely had the odd job, but deep down, he had many ideas, and above all the certainty that he was going to achieve something great in life. One of those ideas would result in World Box, whose first prototype in 2012 was published in Adobe Flash, according to Maxim, he got the idea to create Worldbox since he was very fond of watching ants as a child, this would be just the beginning of what would become one of the best god simulators available on the market. Then later and thanks to several messages of support from people who tried the game, Maxim with the help of other developers and it is believed that his brother, would publish the first Android version in 2018, later with even more development, and seeing the reception of this, they would make versions for iOS in 2019 and PC in 2019, which he would present at a video game fair in Europe, where he was offered to buy the game, but he would reject it, and in fact that is where Maxim after refusing to sell his game it was almost stolen, but that's a story for another video. After the release of the iOS and PC, Mac, Android and Linux versions, Worldbox would take a lot of strength with various videos on YouTube going viral, this favoring the game a lot, from there it would not stop growing, with better and better things, like the publication on Steam or the biomes, until today, in which Worldbox, is postulated as a game with a great future. I hope you liked the story, although I couldn't tell you 100%, I tried my best. See you soon.